Hey everybody, welcome to the latest video on my channel, and this one's going to be another Godzilla. This time, this is not a vinyl model or vinyl kit or figure or an X Plus or any of those. This is a resin model, I believe, that is a 3D produced, I believe, a 3D print. But... It was sent to me sometime back by a very good friend of mine in Pittsburgh, who I will leave his name nameless for now. He's quite the Godzilla collector. Anyway, he sent sent this to me to paint it. He wanted he wanted a nice Godzilla paint job, and this is Godzilla 1972. So this would be the last time this particular suit. This, this version of Godzilla was used in a movie. This was originally built and used in Destroy All Monsters, this costume. And it was revised a couple of times, used four times overall. And and you can tell it's been used because look, even the model has the dangly bits under the arms there. It was starting to get pretty beat up and frayed. And the head had gotten rebuilt a time or two it's it's he doesn't quite have the freshness that he had in destroy all monsters in 1968 so this is the one that fought Gigan in 1972 he also has slightly more asian eyes anybody that really studies this costume knows some of the details about it but anyway all that aside um it's a resin paint it's very heavy it's a big big piece it's over 12 inches tall uh it has a lot of heft to it and I don't usually paint heavy pieces but I did my technique which normally you know a lot of people will paint Godzilla they'll put a dark color and they'll dry brush light colors all over the ridges and things and he looks pretty good and dry it turns out that's a lot of what this costume has but there's a lot of times Godzilla is actually dusty and dirty so the light colors are in the cracks, not on the surface. And I, I kind of do a half and half of that. Um, the back plates by this time, by the, at least I know in Destroy All Monsters, and definitely by 72 and way too by 73, they're starting to use silver in the highlights of the back plates. There's, in here, we've only got a little bit of a, I call it a metallic mix. And he's got dirt on the bottom of his tail. You know, he's been in that playing in that dirt for a few movies. But they're starting to highlight with silver, and they would use extreme silver in 73 and 74 and 75. So that's just something you might notice about it if you want to ID the particular year. But that would also be a completely different suit and a different design and a different head. He would start getting the puppy dog look from... 73 and 74 and so that's pretty much that and by the way the year before this the same suit was used in uh, the Hedera movie with you know against the smog monster and I love that movie and I've always you know like that the suit it, destroy all monsters is one of my favorite Godzilla movies so anytime I can paint this suit whatever iteration of it it is it's a treat so this is as much to say hey had a good time painting it I hope the model looks really good to you. I hope you're happy with what I've done and enjoying it. Um, it's a it's a great piece. I'm envious of my buddy, and his collection is quite staggering. So, but this is how I would paint the '72 Gigan Godzilla. And if you like this video, you know to hit like. Please hit like. Subscribe if you have not already. Um, definitely leave a comment if you have something you'd like to say good bad or indifferent I will address it I will address questions about my technique I will talk about the best I can I just will not always resolve who I've done the figures for those that's private but other than that hey if you like it please 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 let me know the channel needs to know it's a need to know basis so thank you very much enjoy this and look for the next video We'll see you next time.